and they are cutting down the nets here at the BB&T Arena here in Northern Kentucky, the Mercer County Lady Titans. They had an impressive win, beating Mercy 74 to 34. We talked with the players and the coach to get their post-game reactions after winning their back-to-back -back state championship. After switching to his own defense against Clark County in the semifinal game, the Titans stayed with the defense for the title game and it proved to be the difference as the team held the Jags to 30% from the field. Mercer County also shot 12 of 15 three-pointers in the first half, breaking the girls' state title game record of 14 three-pointers with 16 for the game. Yes, it was. this was gut-wrenching. You know, we had a great performance today, but this, this last little bit here between the region and the state has been absolutely gut-wrenching. And, you know, for a public school to go back to back um, is it, just, is I don't even know what to say. It's just, it's. I'm so proud that I was able to coach these girls and uh, so fun. And, you know, to go with the schedule we had and finish 36 and three is, is absolutely insane. Yeah, it was like once we hit our first one, I knew that we were going to be, everybody was going to be on and then everybody started making them and it was incredible. Um, I think it was a lot tougher just because the expectations were so high. You know, last year after we won, everybody was just asking, you know, are you going to repeat right after we won? So I think that was a little bit in our heads, but it was really nice to see these last two games. Really, everybody just cut loose and play like we know we can. And taking home this year's MVP honors is number four, Sagan Robbins from the Mercer County Lady Titans. Reporting from state tournament finals here in Highlands Heights, Kentucky, Mario Anderson, Spectrum News.